This is the second video in this series and is part 2 of the menstrual health education program focusing on the female anatomy of the menstrual cycle and how we teach it to the girls. There are a number of key messages we cover in this session which is why we menstruate and how that is related to the onset of puberty. How to explain the menstrual cycle to the girls which means going through their reproductive system by getting them familiar with their reproductive organs on their body and to name them with confidence. And then we will also talk about what is typical and what is atypical period with the girls so they know when to seek help. In a separate video, we will cover about how to track the period as it is a detailed process. I start explaining the female anatomy by using the chart and also by using the knitted uterus. And uh, so my position when I do this part will be like I'll be standing and I will be uh, trying to locate uh, where the uh, reproductive system is there. I'll be locating it on my body. And uh, when I hold the chart, I will keep the chart exactly on my, my uh, pubic area for the girls to understand where it is really located. When I uh, name the different organs of the reproductive system, I try to name it, vocalize it in their local language. Our purpose is to normalize these words, to say vagina or uh, fallopian tube in their local language. So there will be two different charts, right? One is front view and one is lateral view. And uh, mostly the girls are not aware that we have uh, three separate uh, openings in our uh, private area, uh, the uthera and the anus and the vagina. Girls mostly they think because when they during their period when they pee they also get few drops of blood. So they m many girls they think that they uh, the blood is coming from the same opening of the where we which we used to pass urine. So using the lateral view charts it's very important for the girls to know that uh, we have three different openings. So now, when I explain the menstrual cycle, by drawing a figure on the board, I'll draw like a buffalo head and I will say like, uh, I will kind of present the message like storytelling. I compare the ovaries with the ovaries of the fish because we eat fish, we know how the ovary looks like and there will be many tiny, tiny eggs inside. So I compare and I say that similar to the fish, we also have uh, so many eggs in our ovary. And imagine the ovary is like a water tank and uh, we have two pipes that is connected to the tank, which is called a fallopian tube. And I ask them to like, if you open the tap in general, if the tank is full of water, through the pipe, the water will come out. So similarly, if our bower is full of eggs, every month, once one matured egg will discharge from the ovary. Pipe madri irka. Pipe and the Tamil and Navara in another Kurai in other Kurai Satama Solang Papo Kurai Kurai. This pair is the Sinai Pile connect Ayrk in the Kurai. Okay, wow. as now the pair is Sinai Kurai. In other the pair is Sinai Kurai. The different phases of menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle repeats every 28 to 30 days although it can be shorter or longer as every woman are unique. There are four phases of menstrual cycle controlled by different hormones in the body. First is menstruation, when the nutrient-rich lining is released through the vagina. It lasts for two to seven days and in average it lasts for three to five days. Next is pre-ovulation, when an egg is maturing in the ovary and simultaneously the uterus builds a nutrient-rich lining in the uterus wall. Next is ovulation, when a matured egg is released from an ovary and travels to the fallopian tube to get fertilized. The last phase is premensuration, when an unfertilized egg fades away and the nutrient-rich uterus lining begins to detach from the uterine wall. The different phases of the menstrual cycle can also be explained by using charts. 
The average length of a menstrual cycle is 28 days, which may range between 21 to 35 days, which is considered to be normal. After getting the first period, for the first one or two years, the period may happen irregularly, which is considered to be normal. During menstruation, cramp may occur as uterus is making the contraction to release the menstrual blood out through vagina. When to seek help? You are 16 years old but you have not got your first period. You are 13 years old or more but you have no breast growth. When your pad soaks every one or two hours. When your period is being normal and regular and suddenly becomes irregular. When you have your period for only one or two days. When your menstrual cycle length becomes more than 45 days or when your menstrual cycle becomes less than 90 days. Whenever you have your period, you have severe pain and you fall sick. Although these symptoms doesn't mean that you have a severe problem, but it is always good to consider a doctor. Addition to this, you also have to notice your vaginal discharge to see if there is any changes in the color if you have foul smell, if you feel itchiness and rashes and if you have excessive secretion of vaginal discharge.